So y'all want to hear how I fumbled a good man? So two years ago, I was dating before I had my second child. I was dating. Um, I was dating two guys. It it wasn't even dating. Well, yeah, you you could say that. So I just couldn't make time for the the first guy, and he was a good man. He was he's in the medical field, no kids, single. He was a good man, but our work schedules was so messed up. But then I met my baby daddy and we worked together. He was my work husband. He started off as my work husband. Then I kind of strayed away from the first guy and started really focusing on my baby daddy thinking <laughs> I found my Prince Charming. That was one goofball mistake. Fast forward to now he's getting married and he's a good man he's, he's a good man great provider great like and then here's me being a single mother of two hurting for certain <laughs> hurting for motherfucking certain being this independent ooh, you know I'm a survivor you, you know what just put a red nose on me and call me fucking Ronald McDonald fucking goofball of the motherfucking century all because I thought I found my husband and my second baby daddy. <laughs> Goofy. Goof motherfucking E. Goof ball. <laughs> Who's a Goofy? You's a Goofy. <laughs> I am friend to him. I am friend to him. When, when I saw that whole big proposal, I unfriended him and took him off my page. Because who's a mad bitch? <laughs> mad bitch alert, mad bitch alert. <laughs> Females fumble good men. And I fumbled him. I fumbled him. You know, to me, it sounds like she's saying she only fumbled him because he was doing good for himself, like financially. It don't sound like she's saying she fumbled a good man that would treat her right, that would love her, respect her, honor her. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Things like that. Only because he's a doctor making good money. She fumbled him. That's basically what she's saying. Now, I'm going to start this off. She said she was dating two guys at once. Now, if a man did that, we that y'all would call that cheating or he ain't right, he's a scumbag, blah, blah, blah. Okay, whatever. <sighs> then I was always told and I know this for facts because of my wife. If a woman likes you, she will find a way to make time for you. I know that because when I met my wife, me and my wife first got together, she was working three jobs. She found time for us to go on our first date. She found time for us to hang out. All of that good stuff. Get to know each other on a personal level. Because I told y'all before, we met at work. We didn't know each other personally. We just knew each other of work, you know, of each other from work. You know what I mean? So, oh, but that, my wife sure found time. And I was always like, now that, when I, whenever we, me and her go back and think about that, we was like, damn, how? She was always at work. But, she, oh, she found time. She'll, she'll say, all right, I'm finna go on my break at this job. Come meet me so we can hang out and chill. Or uh, 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 I got a couple of hours before I go into my next job. You want to hang out for a little bit? Whatever. I was always told that, and I found that to be so true. If a woman likes you, she will find time to be with you. She will. So that ain't no excuse. Now. Let's go ahead 
rewind this back a little bit. She talking about women uh, 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 fumble good men all the time. Isn't that what the late, great Kevin Samuels used to always tell y'all women? But for some women, for excuse me, for some reason, women are attracted to the no-nonsense guys. And then let her on complain like she's doing now. Look like she's trying to hold back tears. <laughs> he was a doctor. He's a good dad. And she don't want to see him being happy with someone else. Because she can't handle it. She realized she messed up. Thought she found her Prince Charming and her second baby daddy or something like that, she said. Huh. Found a man with no kids. Wait a minute. I've heard stories that all these men have kids and blah, blah, blah. These men ain't no good. All they're doing is having sex everywhere, having babies everywhere. She just said she found a man with no kids. Okay, so that's another contradictor that women love to say. Whatever. But didn't y'all women, don't y'all women love to say, you know what I'm saying, there ain't no good men. That's another contradictor women love to say. She said she found one. Huh. They either locked up or they're gay. Another contradictor. I mean, I could keep going with this if y'all choose, if y'all want me to. I can because you can see, oh, I, well, see, us men pay attention when y'all women love to talk crap about us. We pay attention. We watch y'all steps, y'all words, how y'all move. But back to the back to the topic at hand here. Yeah, men fumble good women. Women fumble good men. Yeah, yeah, it happens. We make horrible mistakes. We humans. We think we found something better. You know that old saying, the grass is green on the other side? One thing my mom told me, she said, oh, yeah, the grass can be green on the, on the other side, but how much more work do you have to put into it to keep it more greener? See, my mom told me that, uh, I want to say I was like maybe 19, 20, something like that. She said, oh, yeah, the grass might be greener, but you're going to have to put more work into that grass to keep it green. You had to put in as much work on the other side of the fence. But since you came to this side, look how much work you have to put in now. I 100% understand that, that, that statement now, that philosophy now. And I'm pretty sure this lady do too. But again, isn't that what Kevin Samuels used to try to tell y'all women? Oh, yeah, and somebody said that in her video. Left her a comment saying that. And she going to say, yeah, somebody, he was gay, blah, blah, blah. And the person who left the original comment came back and said, uh, how is he gay? Didn't he die of a heart attack while on top of a woman? Yeah, I ain't been getting to all that, but yeah. Anyway, see, this is what, how we know y'all women can't handle your own fuck-ups. It's still going to be somebody else's fault. You're still going to try to find some way to clear your name of your own wrongdoings. See, you could have been that woman he proposed to. See, I was, all, I was told that a long time ago when I first got into dating, one of my uncles told me, Never chase a woman because if a woman like you, you're not going to have to put in that effort to chase her. Y'all going to be, she's going to find time, find a way to make time for you and you're going to find time to, find a way to make time for her. Excuse me. Sorry. my Got a little tongue tied there. And when I got with my wife, all of that that he told me was so true. Like I said, my wife working three jobs. The one job that me and her, well, me and her met she also had two little part-time jobs. So she had a full-time and two part-time jobs. Oh, we all, she always, hey, before I go to work, uh, uh, you want to wanna hang out for a couple hours? Uh, uh, oh, mama, I'm going to go on my break in a few minutes. You want to come chill? Or uh, uh, whatever. Women, if a woman likes you, she will find time to be with you. 
So there ain't no such thing our work schedules and blah, blah, blah. Hell, right now, me uh, uh, me and my wife been married for finna be 15 years in about a month. Matter of fact, tomorrow makes uh, a month from tomorrow. That's what I should say. Yeah. Me and her be married for 15 years. Our work schedules is completely off. We have no days off together. But we still find time to be with each other, even to this day. So I don't want to hear that. That's just an excuse for your fuck-ups. But do men, did, did she fumble a good man? According to her, yes. And she called herself a clown, put a red nose on me and called me Ronald McDonald. Hey, we all do it. We all do it. But see, at least us men can admit it and we take ownership. Damn, I fucked up. I had a good woman and I messed it up. Oh, well. You see what I'm saying? But women, no. Even when they try to take some accountability, it's sti they still try to find a way to say that it's somebody else's fault or things wasn't going the way that they thought it was going to go and blah, blah, blah. Like, like I just said, my work, our work schedules was totally conflicted. And I gave you a perfect example. Me and my wife first got together, she was working three jobs because she was by herself. So she was working three jobs. Still found time. Our first date. She found time for us to be together, go on our first date. Before we got married, we were still girlfriend and boyfriend. She was working three jobs. Guess what she did? Like I said, she would. Hey, before I go to work, you want to come over and chill for a couple of hours, watch some movies or something? Hey, I'm on my break. Well, I'm finna go ahead and go on my break in a few minutes. You want to hang out for a little bit while I'm on my break? See what I'm saying? She will find time. So that's just bullshit. And like I said, even to this day, she don't work three jobs no more. I don't play that shit. We married now. Mm -mm. Anyway, Cause just in case y'all were wondering. Anyway, our schedules are still conflicted. Guess what? We still have date nights. We still, you know what I'm saying, hang out and chill before we know we go to bed and go to work the next day. Whether I'm off that day or she's off or whatever, we still find time to be with each other. So don't want to hear no excuses, lady. 24 hours in a day. You mean to tell me you can't at least find one or two hours to, to relax and chill with each other? Yeah. Bullshit. BS. You didn't want to because, because, because there was something there, whatever it may be, that you wasn't 100% sure of. Now you see him with someone else, happy, now you look back on it and say, damn, I fucked up. He was a doctor, making good money, no kids. If you notice, that's all she said. She did not one time mention that he was good to her. He didn't uh, 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 mistreat her in any kind of way. Nothing like that. It was just money. Yeah. So she gets with another guy. Notice, like I said in the beginning of her story, she said she was dating two guys at one time. Well, yeah, you can go ahead and call it dating. Hmm. Now imagine if a man if a man did that. You already know what would happen. So let's just go and call it call it what it is. Call a spade a spade. Let's just go and call it what it is. All y'all wouldn't be all all down. How dare you treat a woman like that be cheating and blah blah blah. But she could do it. Nobody black bats an eye on that. Hmm, whatever. Anyway. So, I'm just curious, ladies. How come y'all cannot take full accountability for your mess-ups? It's always some kind of excuse on how it's not 100% your fault. And then, like I said, how come you can make excuses for why you messed up and don't, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, she talking about uh, uh, our work schedules and blah, blah, blah. BS. 
24 hours in a day, you don't need to hang out five, 10 hours, just an hour, a few minutes. You see what I'm saying? Because guess what that's going to end up doing? That's going to make him appreciate you more and you appreciate him more. Y'all want to, that connection is going to get stronger and stronger because see, you're finding time. You're finding a way for y'all to try to make this thing work. That's going to make you want to be with that person even more. Trust me, I'm telling you from personal experience. You see what I'm saying? That's going to make you want to be with this person more and more. So, ladies, if you think you got a good man, there's no excuse on God's green earth that you should not try to see if you can make it work. None. None. So, with that being said, stop trying to get with more than one guy at, at a time. Because y'all know if a man did that, you'd be talking shit behind his back about him. You know you would. Also, too, just make try to make it happen. And quit looking at a man as your financial wallet. As your wallet. Because if we look at y'all just as a, a, a sex partner, woo-wee, y'all gonna have a fit. So give us that same respect you want us to give y'all. With that being said, yes, us men and, uh, and and women, men and women put it like that. I'm sorry, I'm getting tongue tied. Men and women do fumble a good relationship. We do. But at least us men owns it. I can tell you right now, in my past, yeah, I fucked up plenty of times. I can own that shit. I fucked up. Now, if you want to know the reason behind it, I'll tell you that one day. Not right now. But I'll tell you one day, yeah, I fucked up. And it's all me trying to see if the grass is green on the other side. Just to put it like that. I can admit it. It was me trying to see if the grass is green on the other side. And I realized it wasn't or it was, but wasn't what I wanted to put myself through. I'll put it like that. I ain't fucked up. See? See how I can take ownership for that, ladies?